simple questions. How many here are driving an electric car? How many are planning to get an get a electric car? Never in my life. I expected a little bit more. Okay, listen. The thing is, electric cars run on batteries. So, yeah. we are wrapping electric cars with PVC material, foil, film, whatever we name it. What are PVC film made of? Okay. Anybody that know it? Check, check. Petrol and salt, basically, Chl chloride. Can you imagine if there are only electric cars? The material we are using is made of the leftover from the production of gasoline and, and diesel. That means we will run out of PVC for our film. Clever, we have PVC free. What is it made of? That's, that's actually pretty funny because there's a lot of PVC free material on the market. The only thing they tell is what it's not. It's free for PVC. Thank you, but what is it? Most of the time it's made of PE, PTU, which is also a plastic product, but not made of the same leftover production from the gasoline and, and the diesel uh, industry. That means if we go electric, fully electric, worldwide, no film. No film. Can you feel a little effect now? Are there some of the manufacturers that are sending out letters? Ah, our stock is a little bit low. Have you heard it? It's coming. That means the product we are working with now is maybe, hopefully not, fading out until we, as an industry, have a new solution. Can you imagine five years from now, 10 years from now, I can't tell you any date, any. There are no film. You have to find a total new product. Any good ideas? What can we make a new product with no PVC, no PE, no, no plastic? Any idea? I've heard about two things that could be clever. One of them is pretty funny because we are in Amsterdam, hemp. You know, the straw when you are producing hemp is a super strong, super flexible. You can mold it, you can do whatever you with, will uh, with hemp. So that could be, I, I'm not saying it will be, but could be an option. Another thing is, and I've been together with a company that are working on it right now, sugar, pure sugar. You can eat the film. That's maybe coming up. They are working on it right now. So maybe in times from now, we will see new products coming up. But what I want to say to you guys, because here is the chance, if you have any good ideas, any, whatever, even the one you say, I can even not say to my kid, do me a favor, tell the salespeople, maybe contact the manufacturing, could be whatever brand, say, hey, could this be something for the future? We are all together responsible for finding something new. And to be honest, why not find something clever, something clean when we do it? That's why I hate electric cars. Thank you. 
So think about it. Another thing is, when we are talking about electric cars, we have two here. We have a beautiful Porsche over there. Rabbas, how many of you guys are certified to work on an electric car? Raise your hand and show your certification. Certified. That means you have went through a test that you know what the orange and the red core in the car is made for and what you never ever have to do with those two colors. Change them. Or connect. If you see a red core or orange core in an electric car and try to cut it, forget it. You're dead. It's high voltage. Actually, if you are a mechanic crew, you will go through a special training certification to work on electric cars. In the Scandinavian area, actually, when you have a Tesla, a Vito like this one, a fully electric, they have to have a fence around the car, and it's only certified per, uh, crew that can work inside. That's the rule. Nobody, to be honest, I've not seen any rabbits doing it because they don't know it. True? Think about it. Check out in your area. Can I get a certification? It's not complicated. Not at all. You can get it. Be some of the first in our industry that do everything correct because they are coming. Last question, Justin, if that Porsche over there yes. went on fire right now, right here, how will you take care of the fire? What is the solution to bring it down? Uh, you dial in Amsterdam, maybe you dial in 112, and mm -hmm. then you call the fire department, and then you just walk away. Perfect choice. What will they do? Uh, they will not spray it with water, they'll spray it with the special chemicals, maybe? So, spray with water, special chemicals, with powder? Could be. Could be. That will not work. Okay. What is the solution for electric car on fire? Some, if somebody knows it, what is it? Blanket. Here it comes. Just so you know, you have to crane the car up in the air, put it down in a container full of water and let it stay in the container full of water for at least 20 minutes to bring the fire down. Well, it's perfect in Amsterdam. We have so many canals. You could just drive into a canal. There you go. Perfect. So it's, it's just to tell you guys, we have to get some more information about, about those bastards. Did I say that? Yeah, electric cars. Get some information because it's pretty. It's a, it's a dangerous machine. I've been racing when I was young. That was dangerous, but that one I can actually stay outside, and be killed. Right. So, do me a favor. Think about any new prop, uh, product you can use for the future when we run out of vinyl mm. think about it to be honest i don't know what it is yet i have some ideas but it's coming we have to find something help the manufacturers pop up with new ideas think about if you need a, a certification for work on electric cars it's the future and the future is here now actually in Norway, they have more electric cars yeah. now than they have car on, on, on gas or... That's crazy. It's, it's coming. And the last thing, don't get an electric car on fire. You can't do anything. Drive it in the water in Amsterdam, that's true.